Alright, so I don't know if I told you this, but I, I have a stuttering problem. And you probably can pick it up in a few of the videos because I just stumble over my words all the time and I repeat syllables and whatnot. It's obnoxious, but anyway, when I was little, it came about when I was about seven or eight. And um, my parents were a little worried, so they sent me to speech therapy. Well, I'm going to speech therapy, and I did not like speech therapy. The only thing I liked about it was the fact that I got stickers. I got so many stickers. Every time I would like go through my sentences completely, I would get stickers. I had this folder, and it was just plastered over with stickers, and I was so excited about that. And I had this like counter that you get at amusement parks, you know, when they would count how many people would go on the ride, like back in the old days. That's what I had to count how many times I stuttered. It was like, in your face, look, look at that, you just stuttered like 75 times. Look at that. Fix it. That's encouraging. So, overall, speech therapy, not a good thing. And to make it worse, one day I walk in and my speech therapy teacher's like, Amanda, you're going to be talking to a girl from class today because I took these speech therapy classes at, at a public school and I was homeschooled. I never see human children unless they're in my family. And I was like, what? what? A girl? A, a person? A, a girl my age that I will be talking to about what for heaven's sake? For Pete's sake? For Tom's sake? Who? who why, why would we talk? There is no point for us to talk because the, no, there's no point for us to talk, really. I don't know what to talk to her about. Ponies? Really? Pfft. Pfft. Who likes ponies? Actually, I was obsessed with horses at the time, so... PONIES! Anyway, she sits down, and this was right after Christmas. So, I was like, well, hey, might as well start this conversation not to be too awkward. Um, I guess we won't talk about, you know, our insurance or investments going anywhere. Maybe our stocks, you know, how well they're doing. So I guess we'll just talk about what we got for Christmas. And uh, so I asked her, what would what, you get for Christmas? You get anything good? And she's like, oh my word, yes. So I totally got like Barbie dolls. I love Barbie dolls. And I was like, me too, that's awesome. And she's like, yeah, and they're awesome, you know, all the Barbies. And, uh... Oh, and I got a boom box, and I really wanted this boom box, and I got it, and it was under the tree, like Santa Claus just left it under there, and I was so happy. I was like, wait, what? What? That's cool, you got a boom box and all, but Santa Claus? Santa? Yeah, Santa left it for me. I'm just like, just exuberant with joy. I just love it, like boom box, boom, in a box. It's just an explosion of noise in a box and yeah it's awesome and Santa Claus left it for me Santa Claus I'm, I'm Santa Claus because uh, yeah, um, and this is what I said breaking the poor little girl's heart you know your parents left that under the tree for you you know that right um <laughs> no Santa Claus left it there for me thank you very much he he is awesome I've never seen him, but he is awesome, and he left that boombox for me. I gave him cookies and milk. He ate them. That is proof. That is proof. I took fingerprints. That's proof. Uh, no. I'm, I'm positive there's no Santa Claus, and you've been lied to. Um, yeah, there's, there's no Santa Claus. <gasps> Why would you tell me this? There is a Santa Claus. There is a Santa Claus. No, uh, there's not. There is a Santa No, really. Just stop. There's no Santa Claus. It, it was your parents. My parents would not give me a boombox. They are mean. It's Santa Claus. I can't. No, it's just. And by this time, my teacher starts noticing that there's a rise in tension in the room. And she looks up from her paperwork. And not kids. Kids. Huh, calm down. Amanda. And she gives me this look, like, like, how could you do such a thing? And I'm thinking, I'm enlightening her of the truth. It's not my fault her parents are lying to her all these years. My parents told me straight off the bat, Santa Claus is not real. We get you your presents, so be nice to us. You know, that's pretty much how it goes. You know, it, who cares about Santa? He's, he doesn't exist. He's just some old fart that someone saw and said, Hey, give me a gift. And he gave them a gift. Thus, Santa Claus was created. That is not true. Don't quote me on that. And so the teacher just kind of spread us apart, and she's like, "All right." And this poor girl is like, is like almost to tears because all of her beliefs have been shattered to pieces by another eight-year-old that is completely right in her thinking. By the way, 
So she takes her back to class I'm sitting, and they're like, I, I didn't do anything wrong. I really didn't. I did, and I, to, to this day, I think that little girl, who is now probably about 17 or 18, she knows the truth. She didn't grow up believing that Santa Claus was real because I told her the truth. That is right. I told her the truth, and she deserved to know. That's, yeah, that, that's, that's it. Yes, it is.